Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Halloween makeup tutorial. Halloween's coming up soon, so I wanted to give you guys some ideas, um, or hopefully inspiration. I'm going to go for some sort of like a spiderweb looking design on my face and like a darker eye look. And hopefully this is something that you can take like the day of Halloween is a weekday, so hopefully you can take this and like if you have a normal days worth of makeup on you can like deepen it up and just like add the design to it so it's kind of like an easier thing to do in case you have like a Halloween party or something like that and yeah so let's get started so I already did all of my face makeup so I have all my foundation concealer and bronzer already so that's done I'm going to start with the eyes I want to go for more of a darker purpley smoked out look so I'm going to, I have a couple different eyeshadow palettes out to use, so I'm just going to kind of mix those colors from those palettes. But one of the palettes I have out is this Smashbox um, Cover Shop Matte Eyes Palette, and I really like this one because there's a bunch of different matte shadows, and I don't want the, I don't think I want this eyeshadow look to be too shimmery because I feel like... We're gonna have other stuff going on on our face, so I'm gonna try and keep the eye look more matte. I'm going to start out with the shade Work It, which is this matte color. It's just like a light cream color. And I'm applying this all over my lids, and I actually do have on concealer, so that's kind of acting as my primer. I'm going into the shade Publisher, and I'm going to apply this to my crease. Using a blending brush and really smoking it out. The other palette I'm going to be using today is this um, Buxom Dolly's Wild Side Eyeshadow Palette. It has a bunch of these purple shades in it. I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is a light purple, and I'm just adding that into my crease. Then I'm going to add this shade and also apply that. I'm going back into that Smashbox palette and I'm applying the shade Editor, which is this purple shade. And I'm going to apply this sort of all over my lids, but really blend it into my crease. I'm going into this NYX single eyeshadow in the shade Ultraviolet, which is just a really vibrant purple. And I'm just going to add this into my crease. I really want to build up this purple look. You guys can also do your eye makeup first and then your face makeup, but I really just wanted this video to focus on the eyes and the design, so I skipped that part already. Now I'm going into the shade Deadline, which is a black matte color, and I'm just lightly applying this to my outer corners and my crease. I'm going back into the shade Ultraviolet, and I'm just going to reapply that purple to re-enhance it because it got kind of lost with the black. So now I'm just going to do my lower lash line. So I'm going to go into the Smashbox palette and then apply a little bit of that black. Especially towards the outer half of my lower lash line. Now I'm going to use a black liquid liner and I'm just going to do my wings. Now I'm just going to line my waterline with a black pencil liner. I'm not going to do my lashes yet. I think I'm going to work on the design of my face and leave the lashes for last. What I'm going to do is just use a black liner. You can use a pencil, a liquid liner, whatever is the most comfortable for you to use. And um, I'm just going to create a kind of like spiderweb look on my face. I'm not going to do like my whole face. I think I'm just going to do like around one of my eyes. I'm just going to like kind of like start it from like my wing. And I'm using just an NYC um, liner to make this easier for you guys to find the eyeshadows. You can like use any kind of purple eyeshadows. I want to make it like affordable for you guys so that you can use any kind of products. If you like don't have a lot of time, you just have time to like go to the drugstore and pick up some makeup, just get some purple shadows and some liner, maybe some glitter, and like every drugstore has that. So 
you'll be good. <laughs> so I'm just trying to stick with those kinds of products for this video. And bring it sort of close to your hairline like that. It will eventually connect and make them into a spider web. You just want to kind of connect the lines. just going to kind of go back and just get rid of some of these jagged lines and just try and smooth them out you don't want it to be too thick though so so this is how it looks so far we're also going to add some glitter and like jewels and stuff so i have this nyx glitter in the shade lumi light and it's just like a loose glitter so have some nyx glitter primer so I'm applying just a little bit of that to the back of my hand. Now I'm just going to use my finger, sort of just tap where I would want some of this glitter to be. You just want to do like a thin little layer of it. And then you can take the brush before it dries and some of the pigment and just tap that. And I'm going to just repeat that step all over this spider web. The nice thing about this shade of glitter is it's kind of iridescent, so it's almost showing up like greenish and orangey, like in the light when you tilt your head. I don't know if that's picking up that way on camera, but it's kind of cool. Kind of let the glue get a little bit tacky before you apply the glitter because it's just kind of like the eyeshadow like when you apply lashes you want it to get a little tacky and sticky before you actually apply your lashes so i also got these gems from this is from wet and wild and then you can just like find it at like a craft store or something um so the nice thing about these is that there's all different sizes from the wet and wild ones and these are pretty inexpensive i don't remember the price but they weren't a lot so and there's a lot of different gems in here um so i'm gonna use more of the smaller ones rather than the big ones but I'm just going to take a break from the glitter and apply some of these so that it doesn't look too overcrowded before I go adding more glitter. So I'm just going to use some eyelash glue and apply that to the back of my hand. I'm going to use the black gems to start out just because there's only four of them. Like the black gems would look really cool with this. And I'm just using a pair of tweezers. I think they actually are already sticky but I'm going to just tap that into some of that eyelash glue. Wait for it to get a little bit tacky. And then I'm going to just apply that. Just sort of let that sit. Hold it down and lightly press it if you need to. However you're gonna get stick. <laughs> I already have adhesive on them, but I wanna make them extra secure. So I'm using eyelash glue and maybe if like you don't use eyelash glue right away and yours are pretty sticky to start out maybe like bring some with you if you're going out with this look um just so that you can fix any of the gems that fall off now i'm going to use a silver one and just do the same idea so i'm just going to keep repeating these same steps the gems. I might just add a little bit more glitter in a couple of spots. And now I got these sparkly lashes from Ardell. You guys see? But I feel like the top ones are just like really too big and long for my eyes. So I'm going to use the bottom ones. And I'm also first going to apply some regular Ardell wispies and then I'll overlap the sparkly ones over top of the regular ones. And then once the regular ones are applied, I'm using these bottom lashes and I'm just going to apply those right over top. This kind of looks good anyway because it helps to incorporate 
the long sparkly lashes with long false lashes. I actually end up looking super blended by doing this. I just applied some mascara to my lower lashes. Now I'm going to go back into that black eyeshadow and just sort of blend this. Because I also added a little bit of liner to my inner corners. So I'm using a NYX lip liner. So this is the matte suede lip liner in the shade Lavender and Lace. I'm just going to line my lips. I'm using the matte lipstick in the shade Lavender and Lace. I'm just applying that. So I like this lip with this with the eye look because it's like still has a purpley tint to it. I don't know if it's picking up that way on camera, but it just kind of but it's still like a nude color, so it's not too much and too overwhelming. So this is the finished look. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I really like this look. I feel like it's simple and it's doesn't take that long especially if you already have like your eyeshadow and everything done from like during the day and then you just add some like black and like darker eyeshadows to it and maybe add a darker lip obviously you can make your lip darker than this if you wanted to I mean I really like the way that this looks I feel like it would actually like look good for like if you're doing like a witch costume or something let me know what you guys think and if you like these kinds of videos if you guys like today's video be sure to like comment share and subscribe hit the bell button when you subscribe it's right next to it to turn on my post notifications so you're notified when i upload every single new video i upload a new video every week so be sure to go check out last week's video you guys can also find me on instagram twitter and facebook which will all be linked down below in the description along with all the products i used in today's video i tried to make them as affordable as possible for you guys so hopefully that helped. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.